Morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Harry Brelsford with the weekly SMB Nation webinar. Um, can you believe, little housekeeping up front, can you believe we're about six weeks away from the end of the year? And I wanted to share a blog with you today. If you want to pop over to uh, our sister site, 0365nation.com, um, you'll see a blog about use it or lose it. It's a piece I did yesterday about uh, behavior in the, in the IT world uh, this last six some odd weeks of the year from Thanksgiving to New Year's. Um, got a couple responses already that it's actually perhaps the busiest time of year um, for about three or four reasons. People are going to lose their budget. Uh, it's a little bit quieter at Christmas time. Quite, quite frankly, it relates to today's topic. Might be a great time to do some migrations. Um, so, so pop over to the sister site, 0365nation.com. Uh, next week's webinar, the Microsoft Community Connections Group will be on Tuesday uh, because our Thursday webinar in uh, the, the U.S. Would, would, would not make sense. Um, if you're local to the area, uh, Small Business Saturday is after Thanksgiving, and myself and a trade group called the WSTA, we're hosting a get-together out at Bainbridge Technology. Um, watch my web page, but it'll be from like uh, 11, 11 a.m. to 1, a little Small Business Saturday event out here in our hometown. So with that said, use the chat feature to ask your questions. And we have uh, Neil from uh, Laplink. And sir, uh, welcome aboard. Neil, are, are you there? Can you hear me OK? Yeah, hi, Harry. This is Neil. How's it going? Good, good. Well, I think this this is, I, I'm really interested in this topic. I mean, Windows 10 is, is probably going to be a, a win. <laughs> I'm calling mm -hmm. it Win 10. And <laughs> it's, it's, it's for all you eight haters out there, OK? We finally have a response. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, well, Neil, I'll tell you what. I've done all the talking. Uh, why don't you, you grab the talking stick, and I'll interrupt you and add some commentary as we go, sir. Okay, that sounds great. All right, everybody, thank you for joining us today. I really appreciate it. Today we're going to go over understanding the major shortcomings of uh, Windows 10 and how it can help you increase your bottom line. So, um, like Harry said, I'm Neil Mineto. I'm the Director of Marketing here at Lapling. And uh, there's my email down below if you want to email me with any questions or just to say hi or cool pictures, no memes, whatever, it's fine. So we'll just jump right into it. I just wanted to go over the agenda. Uh, we're gonna, we'll are gonna we just talk about who is Lapling, uh, the two game-changing events in 2014 that actually is uh, very good for SMB uh, nationers. Uh, I'm, I'm coining that phrase right now, unless Harry, you've already taken that. Um, <laughs> we're we're going we're gonna to talk about the consumer challenges. Enterprise challenges, how Laplink can, uh, how Laplink is the solution, and how the partner program will uh, greatly benefit your bottom line. So we'll just jump right into it. Here's a little snapshot of of, uh, of Laplink. Here we were founded in 1983. Uh, we're headquartered in Bellevue, Washington. Uh, some of our key products here. Um, we, like I said, we are in the PC migration uh, category primarily. Uh, we also do file synchronization and transfer as well as remote access and imaging solutions. Um, and uh, we have all different uh, types of customers you can see there, from consumers all the way up to uh, retail OEMs and ISVs. Our background is, is pretty extensive. Uh, like I said, we've been around for about 31 years. And uh, we've got 95% market share in the US. And uh, we are the, actually, it's pretty cool, uh, just popping this up here, for the top selling utility in Japan. So I thought that was a, a pretty noteworthy Thing to add here. So here are the two game-changing events that uh, that actually happened here in 2014. The end of support for Windows XP uh, that was, you know, that was on April, uh, and then we have Windows 10 that was just recently announced. So the reason why Windows XP, the end of support, is such a game changer is because now what happens is everybody has to move off of XP. Uh, we found that. 30% of desktop user, users worldwide are still on Windows XP. Uh, and then if you go down the line there, 64% of enterprises, 52% uh, of mid-sized companies, and 61% of small businesses. And that number is decreasing, uh, but it's still a major uh, pain point for Microsoft. And then you have the launch of Windows 10 that's coming up in 2015. Uh, Windows 10, you know, they skipped Windows 9. and 
in their presentation, Microsoft says, you know, when you see it, you'll just think, yep, this is Windows 10. And, you know, we like it. We think it's great. Uh, but there are two, with these two events, it opens up a huge market for us here. Consumers, they have to move off of the older desktops or over the, off of the older Windows operating systems. And how users used to do that is using Windows Easy Transfer. But with Windows 8, 8.1, and most likely Windows 10, it has become severely deprecated. Uh, users have to actually use external media, so go out and buy a USB hard drive or you know your 16 gig USB stick if that's enough, plug it into their computer, move everything over to that, then reinstall Windows, and then move everything back over. And actually moving off of XP or Vista cannot be done using Windows Easy Transfer. And in the enterprise space, they have to move, uh, but they can't. We've, we've heard lots of complaints from people. Their common complaint is just PC migrations take too long. Uh, the average, the average uh, end user downtime is about three hours or more, and that's actually on the that's actually on the light side. So we've, you know, there's been days where people have been without their machines because of uh, the migration process. Enterprises see that there's unbudgeted costs, and it inter it interrupts business in general, and um, it can actually exceed. We've seen this in our studies. Deployment costs can exceed um, two thousand dollars or more per PC, and that's a that's a huge number. And we have lots of studies to back that up. Now, in the enterprise space, um, you you see a lot of people trying free tools. Uh, I don't know if any of you are aware. There's uh, this thing called USMG, the User State Migration Tool from Microsoft, and most people who try free tools, um, they actually had to go out and buy a buy a tool because with the free tool it, it actually created more work than they were they were anticipating that cost them more in the end so the people who purchase a, a migration migration software of some sort actually um, have fewer fewer problems hey Neil I, I might yeah. interject if you don't mind but you bet. this is an on, yeah this is an ongoing theme I always like to weave in we we call it sort of the pocket MBA talk or business speak and um, I, I, I I always, this year we've been weaving in a lot of talk uh, just along these lines that um, free is not free, and and then also free is also a race to the bottom. And so, you know, we, we have different webinars where we're talking about hold the line on your pricing and add more value, and, you know, you get what you pay for. So that, does that make sense? Exactly. You're, 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 you're tapping into it. <laughs> yeah, every, you know, and that's, that is the bottom line. You get what you pay for. So when you get a free tool, you get exactly what you paid for, which is which is nothing. So then, what you have to do is you have to go and find people. Okay, we need a person who can script perfectly for this 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 scenario here. Oh, okay, yep. Okay, we're going to pay for that. Okay, now we have to pay for this and that. And I mean, the the list just goes on with the number of things people are paying for, both in um, in the consumer space, but more importantly in the in the enterprise space. And you can see here from this slide, um, just all the different migration challenges. Uh, on the point number two applications won't work on Windows 7, um, a lot of that is just because um, they're not migrated properly. Um, and then there's a lot of people who the, the user dissatisfaction or um, the acceptance of the new operating system is really difficult for a lot of people. And just because when they move to a new operating system, um, they it's unfamiliar. They're familiar with their you know XP or Vista or Windows 7 laptop that they had, they've had for years and they know where everything is exactly. So when they move to a new operating system, what happens is everything is fresh and new and, and they start over. Um, and, and this is actually, that, that, is, that is a huge complaint and that's, we found uh, with, uh, with, with one, of our, one of our OEM partners, they said that 20% of people um, are actually holding off on buying new PCs because they don't know how to move everything over and they're unfamiliar with uh, what will happen in, the, in that process. So the the two major shortcomings that uh, that is that that we are seeing with Windows 8 8.1 and Windows 10 for the consumer side, Windows Easy Transfer is not a viable option anymore, and in the enterprise space, the free tools are actually costing enterprises more than they bargained for. So in the consumer space, PC Mover is the answer. Uh, it's the only software 
that will automatically move programs, files, and settings. Uh, it, it's actually a very easy process. It comes Microsoft recommended, and it works with any version of Windows from Media Center all the way up to Windows 10. Uh, I'm not really sure how many people are still on Media Center, but I like to throw that in there just because it shows that we, you know, we span the entire gamut right there. Some of the key features of PC Mover is it is easy to use. Anybody can use it, and uh, especially in the IT service provider space, it's uh, it's everything that the user needs. You can move over. It's a set it and forget it type uh, application where you just jump on the wizard, click through it step by step, and then go. And PC Mover will even email or text you when it's done. And we always have free transfer assistance. So 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This this is something that people take care take take advantage of regularly. You know they're doing their migration at 12 o'clock at night, and they want they want it to run overnight. You know a lot of a lot of these guys, um, a lot of the guys on the line here, are working late nights, and uh, there's there's not support. So with our th our free 24/7 transfer assistance, there's somebody there to help you out no matter what. And PC Mover comes highly highly awarded, and and um, and and. There's two quotes here that I actually want to just read through. Everybody can read them here too, so just read along with me. You can say it out loud if you want. And PC Magazine says, how much is your time worth? A painstaking migration done manually can take a couple of days, and you can still miss stuff. A PC Mover migration takes hours and doesn't miss anything. And then Barron's Magazine said, I've never been able to get a new PC looking this much like its predecessor before, regardless of how many hours I invested. I let Lapwing's PC Mover Professional do the heavy lifting, and you can see here we've got a, these are just a couple awards that we like to like to throw up here. But with many more awards and being the number one space, number one in the space here, it's uh, there's no question that PC Mover is the right answer. So before we move on, I just wanted to see if there was any questions about PC Mover in the consumer space and how that can uh, help with uh, increasing the bottom line. Let's see. I'm looking for the. Uh, I'm in the chat feature, folks. If you could use the chat feature to uh, ask any questions, I don't have any questions yet. And Neil, it's probably because okay. so far, so far, so good, sir. Why don't we continue? Cool. We'll just keep moving on, and then if there are questions, Harry, you can just stop me at any time. So, PC Mover in the enterprise space—it's the IT. Um, it's 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 the migration solution for unmanaged PCs. And you can see here, here are just a couple of the different companies that we work with on a regular basis who are heavily using PC Mover Enterprise. So there's different, there's different scenarios in the enterprise, uh, enterprise space, and PC Mover is the solution for every, all of these. Migrating to a new machine, upgrading a Windows XP machine to a new uh, Windows OS, recovering from an old hard drive or virtual hard drive, and moving a physical drive to a virtual drive. So PC Mover does all of these very, very well. Automated. Um, we have custom scripters, in-house coders that, 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 will, that will work with you to figure out the best possible migration scenario that will make it quick and easy and painless for your end users. And these are just a few of the things that PC Mover Enterprise can migrate. So there's, there's all these things here like .ini files, uh, that's that's pretty cool in the in the tech world, but basically any installed applications on the old PC can be moved to the new PC with the new OS as long as it's compatible. Uh, user domain user accounts on the domain and local level, entire entire drives, folders, files, applications, um, and you, the list just goes on. It's just a couple of things. So in the space, there's the, the migration challenge is that it just takes too long in the enterprise. It takes too long. There's too many resources for IT that um, they, they have to pull in for these migrations. And usually the, the, the migrations are not complete. So the solution is automating the migrations with PC Mover Enterprise. And it reduces overhead, saves time, and reduces risk. And we've seen savings from $300 to $2,000 per PC. So there, again, is that number of 2000 it can cost up to two thousand dollars or more if a migration goes wrong. PC Mover helps mitigate those costs. Uh, the migrations are finished sooner, and the churn rate it, it increases the churn rate and gets things out quicker, and, and IT looks better. The end user morale is actually better. The 
operating costs are are much smaller. End user downtime is almost it's almost nothing, especially that since it's automated, it can be done overnight. And then and there's with remote employees, you have shipping, loaner PCs, and whatnot. That stuff is eliminated as well. So we'll, we'll we can take a pause here as well, Harry. Do we have any questions? Not at this time, folks. Be sure to use the chat feature. I am monitoring chat, so please use the chat feature. Uh, please continue, Neil. Okay. So what we what we've done here is we have created a partner program for all um, for for SMB Nation and for for any partner worldwide that wants to offer these services and. With Windows 10 releasing, with the move of everybody has to be off of XP, this creates a huge opportunity for people in this space. Um, with our part, with Laplink Partner Program, we give generous discounts to our partners: 20% off of single licenses, 30% off of multi-license packs. There's exclusive monthly promotions, 24/7 online ordering. We have customized marketing material that we will work with you, um, whoever needs it, to create custom presentations, custom sell sheets, um, anything really. We we are open to whatever whatever is needed to ma help make the sale. We have dedicated technical support, white labeling options, and then the use of our you know the Laplink logo and brand name. And so with that, what I wanted to do is just talk about this the the SMB Nation. Um, we have we have our free three free licenses for anybody who signs up for the partner partner um, access, and we actually have after you sign up and you're welcomed into the the program, we'll send you a special email that has a starter kit that has PC Mover at twenty three dollars a license, and it's actually for partners that's forty it actually is regularly forty eight dollars and consumer uh, consumers actually purchase it for sixty. So this is a great way to quickly out of service. Um, to your to your offering and pass that on to your 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 clients and it's very easy to increase that bottom line. There's a whole we have a whole slew of marketing materials that talk about the different things um, that Windows you know for instance Windows Easy Transfer is deprecated. We have there's some good marketing material that partners can use to send out and offer this as a new service at just in time for the holidays, just in time for like Terry was saying at the beginning the end of budgets or people are coming up on their budgets and they need to quickly um, find a solution, PC Mover, offering that as a service, migration migration as a service is something that's just invaluable to these people. So with that, Harry, are there, let's see, I think I see something uh, blinking over there. Is uh, Do we have any um, in, any questions or anything you want to you talk on, Harry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I have a couple of my own. And folks, again, please use the chat feature, uh, and uh, we'll 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 definitely get those questions knocked out. So, um, so 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 Neil, uh, let me understand a little bit more about your product. I've used your product, actually, reviewed it back in the day um, when I went from XP to seven. So that was some mm -hmm. some time ago. Used my son's gaming machine. Oh, nice. which I thought, yeah, well, I thought that's the ultimate challenge. You know, there's nothing, yes, exactly. there's nothing like a gamer to, nothing like a gamer to stretch a machine. Let me tell you, and and a teenager. <laughs> yeah, and a teenager to boot. So there you go. Yeah, yeah, no, and that went well. Um, so, so forgive me if I miss this. Now, now, does your tool? Do you have server side support, or do you have another tool? For server side, because we have a Windows 2003 server in the support deadline coming up mid 2015. Yeah, there are. Um, that is a, that's actually more of a, a custom integration solution. So yes, there are there are some server options that we have, and so if um, I, I can connect whoever you know, I can I can connect you guys with uh, the right person over on our side to talk about that a little bit more, because that's something that we really don't touch on too much. Okay, okay, because I think that may be uh, uh, part of the conversation in the upcoming the upcoming year. And then I, I've also seen, um, or let, let, let me ask you the question. I, I've seen it. I'd be curious in your take, but do, do you have a sense, do you have studies of the correlation? If, if, if you pop a server migration, it triggers a certain number of desktop migrations, right? These things tend to go hand in hand. 
Um, do, you have, do you have a sense of that? You know, if, if a server migrates, as your experience shown, it's down in SMB, it's 10 desktops, you know, 30 desktops. Any, any data points? We, I actually do not have any data points on that at this time. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay, I was just curious because I, I know the phenomena exist, right? It's like yes, um, definitely. And, and 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 I've been a computer guy. I mean, I know you know the, the a company moves, a law firm moves from office A to office B, and all of a sudden you got a phone migration, you got a server migration. You know, it just all seems to coalesce at once. Um, exactly. And then maybe maybe back to my uh, original opening comment. Um, the you know because I I. I I'm assuming you guys almost engage in a little bit of big data, and I mean that in a kind way, that you're collecting use data about your product, registration data, and so on. Um, and, and so do you see a fourth quarter, do you see a Christmas surge in our space where, where people are either using the slow six weeks between Thanksgiving and New Year's, or they're using their budget? Do, do, do you guys see an uptick in your big data this time of year? For sure. For sure. That's exactly that's exactly right. You know, uh, especially with fourth quarter, um, people are saying, "Look, we're going to have a lot of people on vacations. A lot of people um, are not going to be in the office, so it's a perfect time to to complete those migrations." So we see a huge surge in um, migration, and even just um, you know, it's it's Q1 and Q and Q4. So usually Q4 is when the deals are made, and Q1 is when they start. So we'll see a lot of that as well. So a lot of people are, "Look, our budgets are coming out. Look, we got." We got this much money that we can uh, p pump into migration, and we see a, a a a pretty substantial uptick in in deals and usages of PC Mover during the holiday season for sure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so folks, I'm going to give it a last call for the uh, the chat feature to ask your question. Um, let me just scroll. Let me make sure I, I I know how to use the chat feature. I think I do. <laughs> <laughs> the whole story behind that that I won't go into, but um, while we're waiting uh, for any questions, uh, let me again do a little bit of housekeeping today. So on the screen, you see the contact information uh, for the uh, for LapLink itself and, and the PC Mover product. Um, this is our first webinar where we've had a Windows 10 conversation. So, so make sure you're downloading the preview edition and playing with it. I am on a on a secondary machine, so I've got that up and running. And then, uh, and, you know, talking about the preview oh, edition real quick, Harry. Yeah, sorry, um, we actually have a free version of PC Mover for people who are using the um, the, the the tech preview. So, if uh, if anybody out there needs um, the the free version, so that you have to be moving to the tech version, the tech preview. And you can use PC Mover for free, so it's uh, and it's a files and settings only transfer. Yeah, yeah, no, cool. Um, the uh, okay, and then a uh, little cu couple of couple of upcoming things uh, just to review the calendar. And I know next week's a holiday week, so we hope to see you Tuesday for the uh, Microsoft Community Connections webinar. And then uh, there's the hour of co well, there's Small Business Saturday coming up on Saturday, so please. We're all small businesses, so please get out there and spend a buck locally. Uh, we have the Hour of Code coming up. I believe it's around the week of December 8th. I, I'm not quite sure, but but Google Hour of Code, where you go volunteer at the kids' school for an hour and show Project Sienna or code or, or something. Um, and then we have our Seven City Office 365 tour coming up starting in January, very popular. And then uh, the fall conference is, is next October. So that's kind of the calendar rundown um, in a nutshell. And Neil, any? Uh, I think the deck is clear. So any closing comments you want to make, and we'll let these people get back to work a few minutes early. Yeah, you know the only, the only thing I want to talk about real quick is just with Windows 10 launching and Windows XP um, end of support, it creates a huge opportunity in the market for um, small businesses and IT service providers like ourselves. So. It's a great time to get on board, and the partner program is the answer for um, getting getting that solution out there in the hands of, of your end users. So we are we are here, and we're ready to help out as any way we can. 
Very cool. All right. Well, Neil, thanks so much for dropping by. Um, folks, we're going to get a thank you note out to you with uh, 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 so, so some of the links here, that kind of thing tomorrow. And uh, we'll see you next Tuesday. Have a great day.